Hi guys, in this lecture, I'm going to show you how to connect Visual Studio Code with Snowflake. So first of all, I'm going to open the Visual Studio Code and I, and I will install a few extensions. So the first extension that I will install is SQL Tools. Install this extension. Okay, it has been installed. The second extension that I'm going to install is this snowflake driver for sql tools okay uh, let me just search this one snowflake driver for sql tools okay you need to install this so you will be requiring this uh, extension to connect to snowflake okay now it has been installed now what i need to do i need to go here and i need to sign in to snowflake uh, username is this I need to provide my password over here okay now afterwards uh, before logging into snowflake I need to copy something okay okay now click sign in okay update now uh, what I need to do again I'm going to sign out just sign out and uh, okay now I need to copy this part of information look only this part this is the account information that I need to give while connecting it to snowflake okay I'll be requiring this part of my information uh, okay this is the account information now just sign in and I will create a new database so for that you need to create SQL worksheet open a worksheet and I will create a database called create database uh, DWH is the name of my database run so the database has been created now I am going to connect with snowflake okay now go here this is the SQL tool setting so I will add a new connection so I will click snowflake and then I need to give connection name here so the connection name will be my con okay is the name now now the account information should be in, in this format okay account name region id in the cloud so look i have already copied this uh, region this is the account this is the region and this is the cloud which is aws just copy this information over here okay now authenticator is user and password let me show you the user my user here so if i sign out uh, the user name is is this this one okay this is going to be my user copy and just paste it over here this one is my user it should be as it is it shouldn't be in capital okay now i'm going to specify my password here okay so this is the password that i will specify now database so i have already created a database called dwh okay i will specify my database here and then the warehouse information so from where i'm going to get the warehouse information i will get the warehouse information from here let me show you the warehouse information this one is the warehouse and this one is the role which is account admin so compute underscore wh is the warehouse uh, let me just provide the information here com underscore wh is is the warehouse information all other information i'm not going to provide right now i can provide the role and also i can provide schema but save this connection and then you have to connect okay 
this is connecting and it look this is connecting it may take some time okay so you have to wait for a while look it has been connected now let me show what database i have with respect to this connection okay look i have this dwh project in this database okay so now i'm going to create a implied table and then i will insert some values in my table and then we'll do select from the table so first of all i'll specify which database i want to use so for that i'll use the command use uh, dwh and semicolon i will run this command okay statement executed successfully uh, now i will create an employee table for that i'll i'll just copy this and paste it over here just copy and paste it over here now run table has been created employees table ha has been created now i will insert some values in in my table just copy this and paste it over here okay now run now afterwards okay uh, the, this command has been executed successfully now i am going to do select so for that let me just uh, uh, do select select star from select star from employees okay run this command and look id name age department and salary okay so this is how you connect visual studio code with with snowflake and this is how you run the sql queries okay i hope you are having a great time thank you so much and have a great learning